Hey guys, welcome back to another Coding Flamingo video. So today we're going to look at how to create a native application, kind of reusing your Blazor components that you have used in the, in the past. And we're going to be using .NET MAUI that is coming out, well, not officially, but the previews are out and it's going to be coming out in February next year. But so like, what if I told you that I created all this application with the design and everything in less than a week? You would say that either I'm an amazing coder, which thank you, or that I, I'm lying or I did something. And the reason is I did something. So this is for my company. We actually had our Blazor web application running and we wanted to create a native application so we can interact with the SSH agent and everything to be in, to enable to do like one click SSH connections and everything. And this is where .NET MAUI comes in. So uh, obviously I'm not, I cannot show you the actual code of the company. So I create a kind of like a mock website here. So here I just created kind of like a mock website that is the Blazor web assembly. And I added a razor class, which actually I have all the commits in the GitHub as always. And I'm doing it kind of like bit by bit. So you can see all the codes, all the code, how I'm adding it. But basically I created the Blazor web uh, app and then I created a razor class and added it as a dependency. The thing that this will allow us is that when we create our done that Maui application, we can reuse the same components. And if you haven't done this, you can actually grab the components that you created in your client and move them to the class, and then you'll be able to reuse them. I'll kind of cover that when I'm creating the application. So like, let's just run it and see how it looks. So as you can see, it's just like the regular laser web application. It just has this component that was created in the razor class library that I just added it by adding it here and you'll see because I'll have to do it the same in in Maui. So now the next thing I have to do is create the Maui project, which you do add new project, .NET Maui and .NET Maui Blazor app, sorry. And we're just gonna call it the default, leave it to create where it wants to. And this will create our .NET Maui. Right now with this uh, version, you still have to uncomment this uh, the Windows version if you wanna run it on Windows. And I'm actually gonna do a video about how to run this on Mac next week or something. So make sure to subscribe. And now if we run this, the Maui app on the Windows machine, it will show the regular Blazor web app. And I have videos on that on how to debug it and everything. I'm gonna try to link all of them down below and I might even create a playlist for it. So now we have to add our components, our library components. Obviously this is a very basic example, but then you would have to also change it to call your backend server and all that stuff. And so we're going to close this and in here, we're going to open the dependencies. This is on the actual Maui. We're going to click on right click on project add, and we're going to do project reference. And in here, we're going to choose our razor class library. And you probably will have to do the shared as well, just because you're probably going to use the models you use on your shared application and you're going to click okay. So this is just going to add the project reference. And now in our imports in our Maui app, we'll add the razor class library, just so we don't have to add the using at the top of every one of our classes. And then in here we can go to pages and go to index and we're just going to write the component. So as you can see, component one shows from razor class library, and now we add it. And if we run this now, it now has our component. This component was defined in the razor class library. So that's kind of how you add, uh, the, the components and that's how you can create a native application in Windows, Mac, and even an iOS and Android application with your existing Blazor web app in a few days or weeks, depending on how big your application is. So thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.